Hi. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. It's Monday. You're right, Steerman. I couldn't wait. I was, I, I'm all ready. I was like, I'm not waiting 10 minutes. I'm going live. That makes up for every stream being a couple minutes late last week. We just made up for it in one stream. There you go. What's up, Joey Moriera? We got Mickey Trimmer, Bradley Simmons, Jessica Evans. Organ Trees Gaming is in the house. Hello. Yeah, We also baby. got Channing Hensley, yeah. Brandon Eichmeier, and we got Bill Mitchell, Patton, M47, Tom, Nate, and Marvin Martian. What's up, Chase Church? How are you? Welcome to the show, guys. So I'm, I've got my pumps and hoses set up. We're going to see how it goes. So let's uh, hop in here. Let me get my music down a little bit. Right about there. Steering wheel's actually working for a change. All right, so first thing we're going to do is fire up this old Fordson. I do have a field that needs plowed. And while someone's working on plowing that, we'll get the old uh, pumps and hoses hooked up and ready to rock and roll and see how that goes. The old school farming here on Old Family Farm. Welcome to the show, chat. Uh, how's it going tonight? I'm doing good, Mr. Wilson. How are you? What's up, Duane Baker? My favorite map. Love me the old school farming. Me too, man. Me too. Uh, it's winter time. It's January. We got snow flurries, but don't worry about that. I don't have seasons on, so we can still harvest some sorghum later. That's our first fresh field that's been grown since I started over on the map. And uh, we'll get that harvested at some point. But this field over here needs plowed. So we're going to give it a good plowing. And then uh, we will get the pumps and hoses, get the slurry hooked up to the hoses. And we'll cultivate and lay down slurry application later on once we get that all set up. So we will get someone hired here, of course. Because that's going to take forever to get that all done. Oh, yeah, she's barely moving. <laughs> Ooh, what's on those bushes there? Those big old blueberries or something. All right, that thing's barely moving. It said I had enough power, but maybe there's not enough power. That's not my problem. That's not what my pro That's the hired worker's problem, huh? We'll let them deal with that. What's up, Charlie boy? Ghost Rider 115 in the house. Uh, what's up, Patton and Duane? That's one big plow, Frosty. I guess it's too big for that little tractor, huh? Uh, Ghost Rider, how are you? Dustin Wilson, you better put a jacket on. Frosty, snow means cold. I have a little sweatshirt on. Oh, yeah, that thing's not moving too fast. That is not moving too fast. That might take all stream for that hired worker to get this uh, taken care of. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine with me. All right, so pumps and hoses. If anybody doesn't understand how pumps and hoses work, I'll try to explain it. I mean, I'm not an expert at it either, but uh, I will try to explain it. All right, so uh, let's walk over here to where I got everything set up. I got it over here in a nice open area. And uh, there it is. This is all the things you're going to need to make pumps and hoses work correctly. So I'll try to explain it as simple as can be. And the best way to do that is go into construction mode. So we're going to hop over here. And we're going to kind of just take a look at everything from a bird's eye view. All right. So let me try to explain this. First thing I had to place down was a fermenter which is right here. That's going to be under production. So go into your production tab. And of course, you have to own pumps and hoses. It's a DLC. You're going to see all these uh, fermenters pop up. You got three different options. Each one holds a different amount. You're going to have to place one of those down. That takes goods and transforms them into different products. So you can input silage, manure slurry sugar beet cut you can put any of those into the bins which i have a bin right here and i also have this bin over here 
So either one of those can be dumped into, and it turns it into meth methane. It can turn it into electricity and uh, digestate, which is all sellable. You get a you get a profit on the electricity and all that good stuff. Over here is your angiter angiter. This thing right here, a little wacky looking. So what that does, cogeneration plants generate electric power and heat from methane out of the fermenter. So this is the fermenter, the big green thing, and then you got to place one of these to generate the uh, stuff into methane and electricity and all that good stuff. All right, next thing you're going to need is your little dump stations, which I have placed there. Uh, solids, dosage, equipments are used to feed various materials into the fermenter of a biogas plant. So just imagine it as a biogas plant on your own property and you get to use it with your pumps and hoses. Uh, this white thing right here is a dosage equipment used to feed various materials also. Pretty much the same thing as that, but the cool thing about this one is you get to open the lid. And you can back in with a trailer full of manure or silage and just back up into here and dump it in there. And then it uh, feeds into the pipe, into the fermenter, and does what it's got to do. Pretty cool. That put away. And then uh, over here, we got our little uh, fuel burner. You're going to need one of these put next to your fermenter plant. Uh, that burns away the methane, if that makes sense. So if we go back into construction mode, go back into production, this is a gas torch. It burns excess methane produced by a fermenter. So I'll show you in a little bit why you need that. You got to keep certain levels down so it helps keep everything working properly. And then, of course, you need a slurry tank, which we have sitting right there. That would be under selling points. Ooh, what's that? No, that's under, what is that under? Factories, silos. So go into factories, go into your buildings, and then silos. And then you'll see all the different type of slurry containers. You can have uh, big ones. You can have ones with uh, rooftops or ones without a rooftop. That's what I went with. And uh, that's to store your liquid manure. They can also be used to store digestate when a building and the pumps and hoses bio plant. So it sends it all there, if that makes sense. There's a lot going on here. And then we got to go over all these pieces that are sitting around. So instead of uh, explaining it in a boring way, we're going to do it. So we're going to hop into the old Alice. And we already got our pumps and uh, not our pumps but we got our hoses attached to the back so we can drop the hose from where we want it connect and move it all around the fields we want to work with uh, today I only got two fields we'll be working with I want to hit that field that we're going to harvest the sorghum and then we're going to eventually hit that field that's being plowed right now so yeah and if you're trying to figure out where the hoses are you're gonna have to go into your store mode, scroll down here to miscellaneous, and that's where you can find your water pump, which I'll explain that later. That's also where you'll find your separator, and you're gonna need this thing, it's a wrench. You gotta have this wrench. This comes with the pumps and hoses pack. That's so you can pick up the hose, connect it to different things that you'll need it to use for. That's where that stuff is. All other things, pumps and hoses, will be in slurry tanks. So click on slurry tanks. And then uh, all the goods that come with the DLC are right here, starting with the uh, compressor. That's to clean the hoses out afterwards. Here's one of your hose holders, which I should have went with that one because the tractor can barely handle this big one I got. So here's the bigger style one that can hold up to 1.7. This one holds 1.3. Here's another one that also uh, has a manure tank used as a buffer for constant liquid manure delivery. Pretty cool. 
Then you got uh, this bad boy. This is a pump, liquid manure, and digest it for the umbilical application. So for this thing right here, you want to sit that next to your slurry tank. So this is where we'll drag our hose wherever we got to go, and then we'll connect it to this. There's not a physical connection, which is kind of weird. You just kind of connect it to this. So yeah, it's a little confusing. I had I had to watch a video. I definitely had to watch a video to know what the heck I was doing. So we'll uh, drop the uh, thing right here. All right, let's see here. We got Dylan Stringer coming in with the $8.99 super chat. That is Dylan Stringer. It says howdy frosty and chat. What's going on, Dylan Stringer? Thank you very much, sir. We also got Bradley Patterson with the $5 super chat. It says frosty time. You were early. I wasn't ready. Yeah, I went early. I went eight minutes early, I think. What's going on, guys? Junebug Uptown. What map is this? Old Family Farm. What's up, Nick DeBar, Jacob Nukstia, Joe Max says hello from Dublin, Ireland. What's going on there, laddie? Uh, glad to see that you're on Farm Safe. It's my birthday, by the way. 41 years young. Well, happy birthday. Venom's 41 years young. Woo, you're a geezer. All right, so I do need to put up this screen top left. So we need to change to unwinding. Start unwinding. So we start driving away now. It's gonna drop the hose right there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't run out of hose. I'll show you what happens if we run out of hose. They're pretty much just gonna drive directly to where I need to go. Bottom right hand of the screen shows you how much hose is left. I haven't worked in the snow in a while. All right, so we're going to be working with this field over here. Um, we need to harvest it for first, of course. And then we're going to also be covering this field over here. So at least we're getting this part of the job done. It's looking pretty good. Probably going to park this here for now because uh, the hired workers got a long way to go. <laughs> hired workers uh, struggling there, but that's fine. That gives us time to harvest and take care of some other chores. But that's It's easy as that. It's as easy as that. You just drag your hoses around. The only thing you got to be careful of is give yourself enough room to work the field. So you don't if if you do stretch the hose too far, it will disconnect from wherever it's connected to, or if you have multiple connections. And then I just like to kind of run along and make sure it all looks good. Got it cutting through the field, which is no biggie. This field's still growing; it's not hurting anything. All right. Now we're gonna whip out our little wrench I was telling you about. Isn't that fancy? All right, have a good one, Patton. What's up, Esther Williams? Uh, how was your weekend and your other job? Good, Rob. Good. I was busy, man. I worked I worked nine, I think nine and a half hours. I was out driving on Saturday night. I did real good. I was working hard. Uh, with an umbilical hose wrench. That should connect to that. Okay. Why is it not letting me connect it? Maybe it's because it's not disconnected on the tractor yet. That's probably why. Yeah, we won't be able to use that yet. It's still connected to the tractor. So once we uh, get rid of the hose off the tractor where it's connected and it's sitting loose, that's when you can connect it to the different things you need to connected to all right so we're gonna let that sit for a while we also are gonna be working with this setup which is a built-in cultivator that drops the slurry at the same time so it's it drops your slurry and cultivates and this is the connection that will have a hose connected to it which is pretty crazy pretty cool how it all works but confusing too all right so before we do some harvesting I got to give that worker some time 
to get the job done. We're going to feed our Angus cows out here some uh, hay bales. All right, we got a bunch of hay bales here. We're going to feed them. Let's get her done. Get her done. But uh, hopefully everybody had a splendid weekend. That miss fire slaying. All right. We'll feed and water the uh, Angus cows. We'll go feed the animals, kind of. get Do all the things that need done. Alex Whitcomb, thank you for becoming a brand new member. You crazy mind, thank you very much. Can we get a welcome to the blizzard for Alex Whitcomb? Becoming a brand new Jack Whacker level one. Thank you so much, Alex Whitcomb. I do appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm doing good, Miss Fireslaying. I hope you had a good weekend. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to try to drop all these into the hay ring. Should be all right. Oh. All right, that was not what I was trying to do, but it might work. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right, I think we got them all fed. If they're still sitting there, that yep, they're totally filled. 45,000 liters, and we got leftovers in there as well. Perfect. All right. So we'll just get this parked up, and then we'll uh, get the water truck out. Ah, crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. I, I left Mr. Bean up for too long. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bean was up for way too long. Mr. Bane, get out of here. All right, my bad, my bad. Dang it, you missed me dropping the, the, the bales into the ring. Son of a gun. There they are, though. I dropped them into the ring. We are full of, uh, <laughs> we're full of hay. Uh, Monk is still, I got him. Still looking at Mr. Bean. I know, I messed up. What's up, Brock Champ? Uh, Oregon Trees Gaming. Has been a member for two months. That deserves a yes, baby. Yeah, baby. Thank you so much, yeah. Oregon. I do appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a quiet. Michael worked all weekend, and the kids were next door with my in-laws. So just relax. Ooh, I bet you did some uh, garden simulator, right? Uh, what's up, Chase Weeble? Joe J says, howdy, farmer. We got Dan Me. Is this your solo player farm? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is all solo farming for me. Yeah, we're in the month of January. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's starting to snow. It's coming down pretty good. All right, let's back her up. I got a full load of water. We'll get the uh, Angus cows watered real quick, and then maybe we'll run down to the greenhouses. Spam those stickers, says Kale. That's right. Six hours of it. Jeez. You ain't messing around, huh? All right, full of water. 16,000 liters of water, 45,000 liters of food. Uh, these Angus cows are doing good. Guess how much these bad boys are worth? Uh, let's. Oh, it doesn't tell you right now. That's a 23 month old limousine. So if you go into animal care, there is an auction right down the road. So whenever these guys are like fully, yeah, they're worth 1200 bucks a head. So uh, I think they max out at like 3000 bucks or something. So we're halfway there already. We're gonna keep beefing them up. All right, let's head on over to the other place. We'll uh, fill up on some water real quick since we're on our way there. What's up, mouse? It's fun. It's fun. DAL 1207. Uh-oh. Are you official now? DAL 1207 is in the house. Where's DAL 1205? Do we have a DAL 1205 in the house? DAL 1201 signing in. Guess what, chat? You have no idea what I'm talking about. That is uh, Delta Virtual. It's a virtual 
airliner company that I'm in for a flight sim. Yesterday, I did my first ever planned flight with ILS approach all by myself. Stevie's been training me in the background for about a week. Multiple flights. I did my first solo flight without anybody's help. Zero issues. Everything went smooth as butter. Oh, it was nice. It was nice. It was fun. I went from Memphis to Atlanta in uh, A320. And zero issues. Landed with a pretty decent landing. Nice and smooth. Everybody arrived safely. It's quite lovely. When you and Coop be back on the farm, I don't know, Dean. I don't know. Uh, smart looking water truck right off the uh, mod hub. Right off the mod hub, I believe. But yeah, the pumps and hoses, I'm super excited. Get that up and running here soon. And that guy plowing is gonna take forever. Ugh, he's barely moving out there. We might have to, uh, might have to switch up tractor tractors actually. Let's do that real quick. Let's get that taken care of. This is gonna take way too long. Look how slow he's moving. <laughs> yeah, that's that's unacceptable. All right, get out. <clears throat> You know why? Because you have to manually shift. That's the only reason why. When you, uh, it only goes seven miles an hour. But I had to give it a shot. I mean, it's a pretty old Fordson. Uh, that's Patton, Mr. Patton that was in the chat earlier. He uh, made this whole old school tractor pack. But uh, they can't handle a lot of uh, certain equipment. I thought it would handle that plow, but I was wrong. It'd probably be fine doing a uh, planting, though. Needs needs a few little more horses. <laughs> Beefing them up, but da dum bum. When I know you mentioned this last stream, but do you have the link for Old Family Farm on your Discord? Uh, Alex, you're a member. Um. I have my whole game. Oh, wait a minute. I usually I put the link for the actual. I don't. I don't know. You, if you go back to my first video, which was like three or four weeks ago, the first video of Old Family Farm, you'll see like an old beat up pickup truck on the cover. That video in the description has the link for it. So uh, hopefully that'll help you find it. Sorry, buddy. All right, uh, what am I doing? Getting something to plow with. We'll plow with it. This bad boy can handle it. This old case can handle it right here. Oh, yeah, plenty of horsepower now. What's up, Oregon? Always talking to Mouse, my bad. Uh, bring in Big Bud to hang I'm not bringing Big Bud onto this farm. This is no place for Big Bud to be hanging out. <laughs> Only small equipment here. But yeah, that would get the job done. Let's try to... Uh, get ourselves lined up. There we go. And this should be done a lot quicker now. Oh, yeah. Now we're moving. Now we're moving. All right. So while that's getting done, we will get back to watering. There we go. Marvin Martian, how the heck are you? Those wipers are going a little... Extra, don't you think? A little extra. Getting a little snow lag. But hopefully everybody's doing all right out there. Hope you had a good weekend. I know a lot of you are probably watching football. College football Saturday, NFL Sunday. 
Some of you dealt with a hurricane. Uh, I didn't have any issues in my area. It was just a bunch of rain. However, when I Ubered on Saturday night, I did have a couple rides that went down right along the ocean. Uh, they got hit a lot harder than I did. Uh, there were some roads just covered in water. I had to drive extra slow through those roads. I was like, hopefully the little Kia can get through that. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was interesting. All right, we're going to take care of the uh, greenhouses here. We got three of them to water. Start hitting number one. And we might even have some stuff we can pick up later. Should have some stuff we can sell. Uh, hey, Frosty, I'm just back waiting for my new graphics card to arrive so I can get back to gaming again. 23 bedridden days, Ugh, I, I imagine. But you're ready to, I bet you got a lot of updates to do on your PC, huh? The worker appreciates the cab now. That's right. All right, they just drank all the water out of the tank. Just the one greenhouse. So we'll do a refill here. Oh, that's filling up. We'll go check out what we got to pick up. Got a couple pallets of strawberries. We got lettuce. And we've got tomatoes. So we definitely got some things we can pick up. Very nice. Head up here. The horsies are probably going to need a little bit of water as well. And maybe even a little bit of hay. Can't remember if we have any bales back here or not. Yep, we do have one bale we can throw in. Let's do that while we're waiting. Very nice. Frosty, I have the link to Old Family Farm. You want me to post it for Alex? I just told him where to find it. Yep. All he's got to do is look up my uh, my first video of this. It's not too far back. But thank you very much. What's up, Adam Groves? Back in the 40s, they used engine vacuum to run the wipers, and that's about what they looked like. Nice and fast, huh? Right, watch out, horse. I'm going to go throw this into the bale ring. That's not a bail ring. Ooh, only 3% left. We'll just leave it here. It'll disappear after a couple hours. They almost ate the whole bale. Water's looking almost full, but we'll top it off anyway. Alright. That closed up. What's up, Gene Edwards? How are you? Philip Deem says, Frosty, how's it going? But I'm doing all right. Uh, just starting my own old style farm. Just looking for a better map than what I have. I love this map. And if you really want to get fancy, Alex, I do have, since you're a member, if you go back in my community tab, you'll see where I uh, posted my game save. And you can have kind of a setup the way I've made it. So it's a little different than the plain style. I thought this totally up to you, laddie. Like these greenhouses are here that I put in. A lot of the stuff you see is not in the regular save. All right, should be filled up on water. Yes, we are. Fill up greenhouse number two. And we'll need to do number one, and then water the horses. Did you get a flight in, um, Mr. Uh, Steerman? Did you get your first flight in, or have you not set it all up yet? 
Oh, they already filled up. There we go. I'll look at it, like to start from the beginning and work my way up field by there you go, there you go. What's up, fire slime? How you doing, buddy? Mm -hmm. Alright, all the waters are uh all the greenhouses are good. Let's top this off one last time, head over to the horse pasture, and then we'll be done with all the watering. I don't think we have anything else to water. Just got approved when I sent that message. Ah, gotcha. Nice. Did you uh, pick KATL or Atlanta? Did you pick Atlanta as your home base? That's what I picked. Part of me wishes I'd, I'd picked Boston. But I just wanted to be down wh around where I live, even though none of the flights go near my area. <laughs> Uh, the closest flights are like Memphis, Nashville, and I'm, I'm trying to get my confidence up to fly down to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Cancun, down to Me Mexico. That's a pretty long flight, though. All right, so we're going to go uh, feed or water the horses now. We already fed them. Now we're just going to water them. Take the old big truck in here. These brakes are horrible on this truck. Like, I'm slamming on the brakes and it's not doing anything. Maybe it's the weight of the load. What's out? They're all topped off. Watering is finistial. All done. We'll drive the uh, Silverado back to the house. Park this right over here in the grass. So we are done. All right, close up the fence. Horses are all done. Easy peasy. Kind of funny, that is how they're supposed to work, but most of them didn't work too well. We had a little running truck that didn't work due to the vacuum leaks. Uh-oh. It's not the good. Well, do Ann Baker, you're always hating on my, uh, you're always hating on the Fords. What do you think of the Silverado? Do you approve since you never like any of my Ford trucks I pick? <laughs> All right, let's throw a couple pallets in here. And we'll sell them on the way into town. One. Two. And three. Put that right on the tail end here. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that only strapping down one of them? I don't know. We'll drive careful. <coughs> nice and easy. Yeah, that is definitely not strapped in on the back. <laughs> That's a nice looking Chevy. I figured you'd like the Chevy. Uh, what's up, Austin Wall? Have you looked at Ranch Simulator? Oh, I, I, believe it or not, I was actually playing it a little bit last night. Because uh, I'm kind of interested in the gardens. They have gardens now with actual uh, fruit and vegetables. 
All right, we're going to direct sell the stuff right over here. I believe they'll take it. Right here. There we go. Making a little bit of money. Must be like the local pub. You can hear everybody in there talking. Yep, drive too fast, so I have some ketchup. All right, so we made $843 on three pallets of tomatoes. Not, not the biggest profit ever. But uh, a profit's a profit, I guess. <laughs> All right. We've got our pretty fields growing. Everything's looking pretty. Bring this back to the house. We'll check on the plow, see how that's going. We also need to uh, harvest the sorghum field. Get the old new hauling out. Got all these free roam chickens all over the place. All right, let's see what's going on over here. All right, he's still plowing, still getting the job done. Looking good, looking good. All right, plowing is about, I'd say we're at the halfway point. So by the time we harvest the sorghum, this field should be almost done. What do you think? Uh, Nick DeBar, thank you for the $2 super chat. Thank you very much, Nick. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much. Ranch Simulator is looking to have tractors and crop production next month. It could be another community game. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm just worried if they're going to make me restart the whole game because it might corrupt your game save file for your yeah that's the only thing that's why i don't want to get too into it right now until the tractor thing comes out but we'll see hopefully it doesn't like mess up our game saves and all that all right so now that that's about halfway done i'm gonna do some loop-de-loops with this and like i said we want to have enough room to go back and forth so if you think about it, if you're at the far end of the field like we are here, you know you're going to make that. And then maybe just go about right where that guy is almost. Bring the hose back this way. Oh. All right, we're going to have to uh, get the other part of the hose down. So for that, I'm going to lower this. We are going to start unwinding. <clears throat> and this is my extra set of hosing that I need. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. It's, it's very... Uh, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. This is where I'll connect. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, stop winding. Lower umbilical hose reel. Change to... No, I don't want to change to winding. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. I think eventually, don't you have to have the front, don't you have to have that attached to the front while you're working? Good, that's a good question, huh? All right, change to winding, lower umbilical reel. I mean, we might as well just unroll the, the rest. I'm, I'm a little confused now. What, what have I done? All right, let's see if we can at least attach the uh, two hoses now. 
Get out my fancy little wrench. There we go. And then you drag that over here. All right. I thought this is how we connected them. I really think it has to be... It can't be connected to the tractor. Yeah, we're just going to un unroll the whole thing. get this whole thing unrolled it'll make more sense in a little bit <laughs> all of that hose section has to ha be off the unhook yeah so I'm just gonna get it all off here real quick and it should be disconnected right about now come on baby a lot of hose. I wanted to make sure I had enough. Okay? I wanted to make sure I was prepared. Alright, we're done with that tractor for now. You guys are probably like, what the heck's going on now? Now this should work. It's a little weird, though. Let's get around here so we get a cleaner connection. Get leveled up a little better. There we go. That looks better. I don't like it when it looks all weird. All right, so those are connected and ready to go. He's still plowing away, having a good time. So hoses are connected. That's a plus. Now all we've got to do is connect the tractor that needs all that goodies, all that good stuff. So for that, plus we need to connect this to this. Come on, baby. Did that connect? Nope. Um. Nope. Didn't work. I don't. What the heck, man? Uh, you need a tractor to run that pump. To run this pump? Okay. Well, since we're done using this, we'll uh, use it for that. We'll drop this right here. We'll hook up to the pump. Uh, I sent some frosty rage in my way in the future. I have to connect it via inside the tractor cab. Gotcha. And I'm on the wrong side. Back up over here. left shift Q. All right, we are attached. There we go. Beautiful. Hose is attached. Looking quite lovely. All right, but here's my question. That still doesn't make sense. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get this thing lowered. No. 
All right, so pump's connected. I thought, see, I thought in the video, I thought this pump had to be close to here to take the slurry out. So technically, I think what's happening right now, even though it doesn't look nice visu visually, it doesn't show that these connect. I think because this is right next to this, it can bring the digestate out of there through the tubes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I, I think that's how it goes. And then we will use this John Deere to hook up to the other stuff. So I got my pump on the front. I got my cultivator slurry spreader on the back. Right. And from what I've seen, all we got to do is connect the back end of this to that other end of the hose. And we should start getting some some uh, flow. Some flow, you know what I'm saying? Does the pump hook up to the side of the tank, though? I've, it doesn't. I've watched videos on that. There's not, like, a visual connection to the tank. Uh, what's up, Madeline Lee Swenson? I never got notified for the live stream. Well, what the heck, Joshua? You shouldn't need notified, Joshua. You already know. Monday through Friday. Well, actually, it's Monday through Thursday now. You know that. All right, so we'll get this dropped. And it's right next to that. So shift Q. We are now connected to the hose system, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if I switch over to this... Now I can turn on compressor. Compressor is on. Let's switch back to the back. And we'll unfold spreaders. We will not lower it yet. Umbilical hose is not clogged. It's on. All right, that's good. And then we pretty much can drag this bad boy around anywhere we go as long as we don't disconnect the hoses. What do you think? What do you think? That's kind of weird. Kind of cool and weird at the same time. It's an odd DLC. I've never used anything like this. <laughs> But I'm excited to try it out. Hopefully it works good. Very interesting. You're going to make it through here. Light squeeze. Uh, we got it. We didn't even hit the silver auto. Now, we might have to do something on the other end. That, that pump that we're connected to on the other end, that might need activated. So before we get too ahead of ourselves, our hi hired worker is all done, I believe. Let's get him. Oh, no, he's not. My goodness. Yeah, he's nowhere near done. Never mind. He's still got a ways to go. That's what happens when you start early or late. People get confused. Well, I'm all confused, too. I'm just as confused as you guys are. The good news is our hose system seems to be working. Now I just need to see if I got this all working. All right, activate pump. All right, pump is activated. Now let's run back down to the other side. A lot of going back and forth here. And now that that's activated, 
I think we might be all right. Compressor is on. That's good. Lower cultivator, fold cultivator. I, I, I guess it's ready to roll. I don't know. There are patches I'd like to clean up here on the, the field, too, that aren't fully plowed, so I might come back for that. Let's uh, clean up those patches real quick. We're going to kick this guy out of here. He's doing a horrible job. What's up, Keith Griffin? Uh, hi, Frosty. Finally able to catch a stream. Been so darn busy. What's up, Big Kite Nation? It's all good, baby. It's all good. All right, let's drop it. And we're just going to clean up all the spots that were missed. wonder if we're going to chop up our cord here. All right, it does not interfere with the hoses, so that's good. Wasn't sure if it would or not. Couple little patches I noticed. We're just gonna get them real quick. How you like working in the snow, chat? Not too bad. It even it, it, they even make it look cold, like it's a little steamy out there. All right, what the heck? Why is that not uh, getting? be a dead spot I uh, got a broken texture I don't know what's going on doesn't want to plow that though for some reason gonna run along this edge What did you have for dinner tonight, Frosty? It was a turkey burger with uh, on like a pita bun bread thingy with like salsa on it. I don't know. We keep getting all these like food meal plan things. And it's really good. I, it's, I just can't remember what all is in it. It's <laughs> really good though. Very, very good. All right, I feel like this is not plowing any of that stuff. What the heck's going on here? Maybe I'm not close enough to the edge. It's not very wide. It's a very small plow. A little better, I guess. Alright, that's good enough for now. We'll test out our pumps and hoses DLC now. Let's clean up one last little edge up here. Makes it easier on the worker so he doesn't miss those edge pieces. There we go. Good enough for me. Wop bam loom up, wop bam boom. See if he gets it. Nice. All right, finally, finally, we're gonna test this out. Hopefully, it works. So we should see a cultivated texture covered with a slurry texture as well. That's what should happen. All right, everything should be activated. Let's just double check one last time. Uh, pump is on. That's ready. We just got to lower it. And cultivator's ready to go. Lower cultivator.
that's not working. Uh, lower tool application. All right, now we should be good. Time out. See, I, I it's not giving me a percentage. I don't know if that's working. That just looks cultivated, but it, but it says it's 100% fertilized. I don't, I don't even know if it's working. I thought it was supposed to. Does it not give you a percentage or anything? Of like slurry. Come. Okay, here's how I can find this out. All right, so we go over here to our setup. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder if I'm doing this all. <laughs> I might not be doing this right. All right. Let's lift up for a minute. We're going to leave that right there. Going for a little run. All right, this has 31,154 liters in it. 31,154 liters in it. We'll do a strip and we'll come back and see if that changes. I'm surprised it doesn't show me. Uh, your pump is too small to handle two length of hose. Certain ones can only pump so many meters of hose. What? Well, it looks like it's working. Like it just said, fully cult or uh, fertilized. I don't know. So you're saying my pump's not right. All right, so if that's the case, then we need to lift the headland. Lift. All right, we, we did that. Hold, activate, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we'll just leave that there for a minute. Did that just disconnect? No. All right, that's still good. Uh, sounds interesting. It's giving me a curveball. I know that much. Uh, Chase Weeble, thank you for that three months. Says, didn't know it's been three months already. Time flies. Time flies, man. All right, so we're going to deactivate bump. Because the video I watched, I swear it. I, I don't think so. This is like the only pump I thought. I don't know. We'll double check here, though. Yeah, I thought there was only one pump you could purchase. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I got this one. 1.300 meters. So I guess we'll buy this Big Daddy one. There is a Big Daddy one. 200 horsepower required. $71,000. Get out of here. We'll lease it. I don't have enough money. All right, so that's over there. We are going to... Disconnect that? No. How do I disconnect the hose? Connect hoses together. All right. Lift pump. Super confusing. Um, like I don't, it doesn't even give me an option to disconnect the hose now from this. Uh, just don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, it won't let me disconnect. So we'll just sell this. I don't know. Uh, sell. And that discon that's one way of disconnecting the hose. <clears throat> uh, small pumps doesn't work with the length of hoses you have. Does your tractor shut off automatically? No. I always use uh, manual start. Yeah, I don't like that automatic stuff. All right, 200 horsepower. I don't even think this tractor has 200 horsepower. Woo. Let me double check that or we'll end up having an issue with that as well. All right, medium tractors. 189 horsepower, of course. Uh, this one does have 200. We'll switch out with the Kubota. All right, we got to do a little tractor swap real quick. Man. It's a lot of work for just throwing down some slurry. <laughs> What's up, Ice Dragon? Hopefully I'm not annoying you with these tips. If you need someone to go in Discord and help, I can... Ah, you're fine. Yeah, I watched a video on it, but I guess the video didn't do much for me, huh? All right. We will grab a better tractor. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll get rid of our front loader stuff. Disconnect that. All right, we got two, 200 horses on this tractor. That'll get the job done. can even hold some hose on this one. That is nice. All right, hose is connected, although that's not what I want. We probably want the hose Probably want the hose connected to the back end, I thought. To the pipe connection. Not to the actual... Let's lower it. There we go. We had to lower it. Park that bad boy right here. And... We'll add some water, I believe. We need some water. All right, 2,800 liters of water. Activate pump. Lift pump change to blah, blah, blah. All right, I think. If that doesn't work, then I'm out of ideas. sat for at least a good hour piecing everything together once you get it it's smooth sailing yeah i thought i had it watching the video but <laughs> memory only lasts so long for me all right we got this darn thing fired up lower compressor that's on wait a minute this field's fully fertilized. What is going on here? 50% fertilized. 19%, 0% fertilized over here. But this piece we did is 100% fertilized. So I think it was working. It just didn't show us that it was working. So I think it was working. Science. I really think it was working. All 
All right, plowing is finally done, so we're just gonna smack this real quick. Did the last couple patches they missed, and we're finally done with that. Yeah, can you imagine doing this on a big multiplayer farm? I do not think so. Sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> Yeah, Stevenson gifted me uh, Brewmaster, so we'll be doing that on Thursday night. So make sure you tune in if you want to see some Brewmaster Simulator. We're going to be making some fresh brews, eh? Alright, good enough. And we are we don't have to do any more plowing for a while gonna park this bad boy over here out of the way all right cool now all we got to do is get this done come on baby let's get it done all right so should be good lower lower cultivator All right, lower that. Everything is lowered. And it does not tell me much of anything. So we'll just keep an eye on to see if the hose gets clogged. Once we get to the end of this, we will check it out. See if the slurry tank lost any slurry it's the only way I can see how this is gonna work for me <laughs> all right lift up lift up lift up this is the part where you lift up it's not that hard you just lift up there you go see that wasn't hard all right so what was it 31 31,154 liters. So we just want to go see if it went lower. If it went lower, then we know everything's working. I swear in the video it showed losing slurry. 31,301. It's... What? Oh, because I got stuff going. I have no idea if this is working, chat. It looks like it is. No, it's gaining because this is on. So the only way to really find out if it's working is to shut down this this right here. The fermenter. <clears throat> we could deactivate it for a minute. Just to make sure the power plant the power plant is good. All right, let's make sure nothing else is building in here. 31,307 liters. All right, 31,307 liters. Now let's go find out if it lowers once we do another swipe. Ooh, man. That's kind of weird that it doesn't uh, show you the percentage of slurry, you know? Like how do you how how else are you gonna know if you're running low or if you need to like go get some more slurry from another source? Like how do you even how do you know? I don't get it. Kind of weird. We'll just go across. I don't know. Don Deere's struggling. Like, would you hook me up to all this crap, foul? Oh, yeah, he's screaming. Oop, I accidentally lowered the front end. Let's get that up. That's probably why we're dragging so much. There we go.
It won't work because your pump isn't filled. It's, it's I'm telling you right now, it's working, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Like 0% fertilized, now it says 50%. So it is working. So I don't know what to tell you guys. For those of you that keep saying it's not working, it is it is working. Because this was 0% fertilized, now we have 50% fertilized, which means it is working. And if we look at the uh, compressor, we have zero hose clogged. And everything else seems to be fine. It just doesn't show me. That's just the weird part is the part where it's not showing me the amount of slurry going in. All right, so I can tell it's working. Once we finish this swipe, we'll go uh, see if any slurry came out of that tank. That'll be the final evidence that it did work. That John Deere's working hard, though. She is working hard. That pump doesn't require filling since it pulls straight from the source. I know, I just, you would think it would show you somewhere that how much you're taking out of your slurry tank. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know when we get over here, it'll be a lower number because it's definitely working. 30, well, this number is not changed. It still says 31,307. So either something magical is happening, or I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, water is being used quite heavily. Yeah, the water is... Uh, I guess that's what keeps it going clean. Keeps it going. I have no idea, guys. All I can say is it's working. I just don't know how it's working. Because that number hasn't changed once. <laughs> Very odd. Don't know. Oh. We'll get that activated again, though. Would be nice to see how much you have. Yeah. Your methane torch is active. Well, yeah, that's good. All right, cool. And we got plenty of hose, that's for sure. Plenty of hose. At least we figured it out, sort of, I guess. Uh, hey, Frosty, love old family farm. What's up, Chris? Me too, man, me too. We got a little, I think we got too much modernized equipment on this old family farm. This isn't something you'd see on an old family farm. But, it's a good small map to uh, test this all out on and make sure it works. Yeah, it's definitely getting the job done. That must be a dead spot on the map. That little patch that I can't get must just be stuck there. It's going to have a big swirly mess. we could do no I don't have I don't have the uh, cable winder on it's not connected I say we could pick up line as we go but we'll clean up the mess afterwards <laughs> This is all putting the nail in the coffin that I don't want to invest in this DLC it's a little rough it's fun once you get it going but it's the whole fact that it's not showing me 
what's coming out is just weird. Like, you really don't know when you... Like, what if you wasted a bunch of time on a big field on a big map? And you think you're dropping it down. You're like, yeah, this is fun. And then you find out your slurry tank was empty for the last, like, ten swipes. Like, that's why I'm surprised it doesn't give you a visual or something, you know? It's all good. It's all good. We got plenty in there. We got 30,000 liters. That should be plenty to get the job done. Pretty, pretty crazy system, huh? If you go diagonal with one strip of hose, it keeps it neat. Frosty, are you going to do a late night stream pew pew? I don't know what I'm doing yet. I just do not know. At this point, I'm just making a mess. Definitely struggling this tractor. <clears throat> Maybe if we use more than we're putting into the thing, it'll f show us a difference. I don't know. Thirty-one thousand three hundred and sixty-six. Yeah, it just keeps going up. 49% on the water. Interesting. Someone will make a mod so you can monitor it better, I bet. I should have put lime down on the field because I plowed it. That was a mistake. Then we'd be able to see what we're doing a lot better. You should set up a pump and hose with your lawn mower tomorrow. My lawn mower tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I forget what I'm playing tomorrow. I, I forget. I made a schedule. I forget what I put for tomorrow. <laughs> Already forgot. I know we're farming again on Wednesday and beer brewing simulator on Thursday. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I forget what I put on the schedule for tomorrow. What the heck did I put on there? Are you going to stream Monday through Thursday at 7.30 and anything else is on? Yes, Jonathan. Yep. Uh, just easier to buy fertilizer. Yes. But that, that is one cool thing about this, is you're using all your... If you're into animals, the pigs and cows produce slurry and manure. You can recycle all that with your own personal BGA that's on your farm. So that part's pretty cool. But if you're into the free fertilizer... All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's good enough for now. We will be using this again on that field up ahead after we harvest it. But I think we're good. I'm gonna shut all this down. All right, let's see, how do I do that? Clean umbilical hose, umbilical clothes is spotless. All that's good. All right, yeah, we're just going to shut the tractor down. Come back to that later. We'll get the uh, pump deactivated, get that tractor turned off for now while we do some harvesting. Deactivate pump. 
and shut tractor down. Cool. 31,407. So it's because we have the factory running, it's it's still making stuff. All right, we need to get to harvesting. Uh, Jacob Nukestar coming in with the three gifted memberships. Thank you very much, Jacob Nukestar. Joey Morier was gifted. Keith Griffin was gifted a membership. And Jared Hoffman. All three getting a gifted membership from Jacob Nukestar. Thank you very much, Jacob, for... Uh, why is it not getting rid of that when I click on it? I clicked on it and it still wasn't, wasn't going away. Something's going on with Mr. Bean tonight. Good thing I double checked that time. All right, harvest time. I think we're gonna whip out the old John Deere. This thing is super old, this old harvester. We keep it in storage. This is one of our old antiques. All right, I don't think I have any lights in here. There she is. John Deere lands. Thing is like super old school. That beast. And we'll uh, use this to do some sorghum harvest tonight. Even sounds good. Return pump. Return pump. No, I still need it. We're gonna we're gonna do the same thing to this field. I was just shutting everything down so we're not wasting fuel. Yeah, after we harvest this field, we'll be doing the same thing with the pumps and hoses. Our first official field that we prepped before we start harvesting. I'll let you know we're getting a 73% yield bonus. I did miss out on my second chance to put fertilizer down, so we're not getting that full yield that I, I would have liked to have. It'd still be a pretty good one, huh? huh? Yeah, yeah. We are going to get a little reduce in yield because it's snowing. I don't care. That's all good, buddy. Off we go. Look at that old school beast. Gonna be chilly in that open air, I know. I got my little sweatshirt on. My ears might get a little chilly, but other than that, I'm good. I think so cool. So we'll do a perimeter cut and then probably hire a worker at some point. Uh, tank sim, that's what it is. We're playing tank sim tomorrow. Tank mechanic simulator. Uh, open, did you rent that pump? I, I think so, but no worries. Yeah, we'll return it when we're done using it. Fresh sorghum harvest in my old John Deere. Yeah, look how little that thing is. <laughs> We're sitting at 20% filled and only 300 liters in the harvester. <laughs> it doesn't hold much. Very old. All random chance, Jessica, but you're welcome. Oh, did Jessica get one too? Yes, she did. Jacob coming in with another gifted sub. Thank you, Jacob. That is four total gifted memberships from Mr. Nukes. Ah, thank you, Papa. Thank you for uh, showing support to the channel. I appreciate you, Mike. Right, get that lowered. Uh, 
Probably one of the smallest headers in farm sim. Look how small that thing is. Gets the job done, though. All that matters. With a max harvest speed of four miles per hour. Woo, baby! Get her done. We'll speed that up a little bit. That's a little too slow, huh? We'll crank it up to six miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Cool machine. I love the cool, the old stuff. Love it. I love how he uh, moves his whole body over when he shifts gears. <laughs> there we go. You're at fifty percent filled with 750 liters. So this thing only holds about 1,500 liters on a full uh, bin. All right, let's make sure we're lined up so we catch that whole swipe. And we'll get a hired worker going. We're going to need to pipe out at some point. Do you play on console? By the way, I was inspired by your channel, and I have my own YouTube now, which is called Big Um, No, I'm all PC, buddy. PC only here. All right, now we'll fire up this John Deere. We got our double wagons. I don't even know if we'll need double wagons. Doesn't look like a big harvest. But we'll bring them over there so it's ready. Try to catch them on the uh, turnaround here. Give me noise. Lots of John Deere equipment tonight. Gotta head out for us to take care of BK Nation. Have a good night. Have a splendid one. Uh, thank you, Jacob. You didn't have to do that. Harvester sounds like the engine needs rebuilt or sheet and metal tightened, possibly. But it's getting the job done. It's all we can. Uh, it's all we can deal with right now. We do have another harvester, but I'm giving the old New Holland a rest. We got this old school New Holland. I like to rotate the old equipment so they don't go bad. You know what I'm saying? That guy's out there harvesting in his shorts. Or no, that lady. She out there, t-shirt and shorts in the middle of January. <laughs> All right, almost has a full tank. So we'll drive alongside her. I think the whole pipe's pushing the uh, wagon. Are you serious? I guess I got the wrong size wagon. I thought I had the... I, I, I got the raised edition. Should have kept it low. Dang it. All right, we're going to leave her alone. She's good to go for a little bit. I'm going to have to uh, edit these trailers real quick after we dump this load. So we're going to have to go with the low 
the low style here standard i had it set to this with the extension we'll have to go standard dang it Go. All right, we should be good now. <laughs> How can you plow over the hose? It doesn't. It doesn't let you plow over it, which is nice. Or that would be even more of a headache. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't do that. Uh, Kevin Flores, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Says howdy, Frosty. How's your Ubering over the weekend? I ordered Uber Eats and they are still not here should have had delivered by you well we're a little far away but i don't do uber eats i just do uber i just do good old uber and it went it was very good i worked my butt off i did nine and a half hours saturday night i drove 285 miles so uh i brought home the bacon but i had to work for it but yeah it went good it went good all right much better now we are even with the harvester. Look how low that pipe goes. Oh, yeah, we're in sync now. Like an in sync concert. Welcome to the in sync farming. Old school equipment. Beautiful. So that's working out very nicely. Back up just a hair. All right, we're going to let her uh, do a few more swipes. We'll, uh, what else do I need to do? I do need to cut a little bit of grass. I don't need to, but I'm going to. I need to get more hay bales made. Uh, we got a huge pasture up north, so we'll probably get on that. Let's take the old Silverado for a spin. In real life, are that wood? In real life, wood, when I get wear and dry, will break. Was it crispy bacon you brought home, Frosty? It was crispy. Yeah, I worked hard for that money, so... I was out there all night. I started at 7.30 in the evening and didn't get home until... Ah, when did I get home? Like 6 o'clock in the morning. So I, I put I put the time in. And it was more of an experiment, too. I was like, I'm going to go as long as I can until I feel like I'm about to pass out and see how much I can make and see if it's worth it. And it's, it's worth it. you got to work for it, but it's worth it. All right, we'll run up here where the uh, lawnmower is. Big bump. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Ice Dragon with the gifted membership to uh, BK Nation. Well, thank you very much, say hey, I'm going to turn off Mr. Bean real quick because Mr. Bean's been broken tonight. So I just want to make sure he's off. Uh, thank you so much, Ice Dragon. Congrats, BK Nation, with that gifted sub. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, handing that out to the community. Mr. Ice Dragon, thank you, thank you. All right, lights off. Just going to steal this. And we're going to run over to a different location. Uh, this is my sheep pasture up on top of the hill here. They're already fed. Uh, they're good to go. They're fed and done. Oh, crap. Where the heck's the lawnmower attachment? What the heck, man? Wasn't connected, I guess. <laughs> there we go.
We'll be bringing this down to my dairy cow operation, which is right around the bend. And we got a big old pasture we can cut and hopefully make some hay bales. Cutting grass in the snow. Uh, good evening, Frosty. What's up, Tom Kelly? What's going on, buddy? This is the driveway. Right there. All right, and then this is our math, our not huge, but you know, good sized dairy cow operation up here. And then they got this big open pasture that I'll cut every once in a while, including tonight. Let's get it done. Uh, Ice Dragon with another gifted membership, this time going to Tom Kelly. Congrats there, Tom Kelly. He says, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Ice Dragon, for showing love to the community. What's up, Donald Carter in the house? What's up, Donald? Find your, your way over here to YouTube. What's going on, buddy? I loved in sync. My walls were covered in posters, says Mandy. Oh. Didn't think you were gonna admit that, but that's fine. That's fine. I had a, I had a good friend, who loved, Backstreet Boys. I was never a, a fan, but uh, that's that's all he listened to growing up. I was like, you crazy. He loved it. Old Backstreet Boys. I will admit, Justin Timberlake, he can sing. That guy's got talent. That guy's got range. Yeah, he's a good singer for sure. All right, so we're pretty much just going to cut this whole pasture. Then I'll have to uh, tether it and do all that other good stuff. Has anybody, anyone been paying attention on the right screen if the harvester is filled? Okay, they're at 80%. Never mind. Looks like we're good. We'll wait till she's full. All right, we got how many? We got like a crap load of members in here, and only one person, Brian Santor, was the only one to put the grass cutting sticker. Are you serious? He was the only one to use the grass cutting sticker. We are cutting grass. We must have a whole new community because you guys used to love grass cutting time. Only one person threw a sticker. What's up, Carlos Davy? Mayonnaise and Jello. Tell me why. Hey, Frosty and chat. What's up, Zach Ryan? We're just mowing around in circles. You said you can't cut grass in the snow. If the grass is long enough, you can cut it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Do and remove the comment by Big Bugs. Yeah, I hope he's not self-promoting. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of self-promotion. If that's what you're trying to do, don't. Uh, it's the Monday Blues, Frosty. The Monday Blues, you can still use your uh, grass cutting sticker. Yeah, I can't stand people coming in here and trying to drop a link to their own page. I mean, whatever. What's up, Frosty just got here? What's up, William Bone? I know if I was a sub, I'd spam the sticker. Oh, just throw a lawnmower in there. There's a tractor emoji. Throw your tractor emoji in. Look at this fresh cut lawn. Beautiful. You're not trying to? All right, appreciate it. 
I still like grass cutting time, says Mandy. Me too. I like it a lot. Especially this mower. I love this thing. I can't remember. This thing came out quite a long time ago, and I, I still love using it. Another pack came out, but I like this better. Forget who made this, but it's a good one. Got nice, relaxing interior. I love the little light above the uh, radio there. It's pretty cool. Pretty fancy. I do like it. I think it's quite nice. Jonathan Allen? It appears not. But we do have Donald Carter coming in as a brand new supporter. Thank you, Mr. Donald. Where are you at, buddy? I know you're out there trucking, probably. Where are you located? What's your six? What's your 20? Thank you so much, Donald. I appreciate you. I think my... Something going on with my alerts tonight my uh, stuff I use. Ooh. I like first person view. It only lasts... Yeah, if you were gifted a membership by someone, it lasts 30 days. So that might have been what happened, Mr. Allen. If someone gifted it to you 30 days, it runs out. That's probably what happened. Watch this thing whip a Yui. Woo! All right, that didn't work. Just go back and forth now. Getting towards the end. It's the end of the field that I'm cutting. It's the end of the field that I'm cutting. Yeah. Maybe it's slipping on the snow or something. Whipping a nine nine. Thirty miles north of Dayton, Ohio. Come on, driver. It's chilly down in South Carolina today. Yeah, it was. Uh, my wife had her sweatshirt on. I still had the t-shirt on. It doesn't bother me, but yeah, she she was cold. She asked, where's the winter stuff? We need to get the winter hats out and the gloves. I looked at her like she was crazy. Like, what are you talking about? What's up, Mr. Oppenheim? Just cutting some grass, Lottie. Just cutting some grass on old family farm. Yeah, anytime you change a credit card, it'll probably automatically cancel it. Can I get a honka tootie, please, and thanks? Well, I suppose, since you asked so nicely. But that's the only reason why, because you asked really nice. You didn't yell at me. It was chilly in Massachusetts this morning when we left to come home, says Kathy. Yeah, it gets cold early up north. Uh, once the hurricane weathers went through, it really cooled down here in Carolina. Last couple, well, yesterday was kind of warm out. But evenings, it's definitely been dropping. Once that sun goes down, you can feel that coolness. Definitely getting cool. One last little patch. And that is it. On mowing time is over. Oh, jeez. Thing barely fits through there.
Right. All right, I'm going to try to make the best out of my transportation here. So next I would like... Oh, our harvester's filled, huh? Yeah, I bet our harvester's filled. Yep. Man, this thing is dying. It just All my tractors tonight are struggling. out of his way. And wait for him to fill up later. If you're just tuning in, we uh, are using the pumps and hoses. We it took a little while, but we got it all, we got it all working. So this is a fully fertilized field right here with slurry or digestate, whichever one it uh, put through the hoses. I don't know. But uh, that's all set up and ready to go for when we cultivate over all this. So, yes, we will get back to that soon, eh? All right, I want to head back up to the cow pen. And... We'll hop into the John Deere. We are going to bring a load of manure down to our BGA, our fermenter. And then we'll bring a wind rower or a tether. We'll bring a tether back up. That way we're knocking out two things at once. And utilizing our resources. All right, I'm not sure if that's gonna let me dump this like a trailer. It might only let me spread. So we'll see what happens when we get down there. Have a good one, Jordan Kenny. Peace out, brother. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's see. I right, Frosty. I showed my support later. Frosty, have a good night. You too, Jordan. Thank you very much for hanging out. I wear athletic shorts year-round. Only time I wear pants is if I have to dress up for something. Oh, crap. Uh, Donald, Donald, going to bed 5 a.m. comes too early. Donald, thank you for uh, becoming a member. Be safe out there. You know where to find me now. This is where you will. There's the auction, the animal auction. Uh, you know where to find me now, Donald. This is where I am Monday through Thursday around 7.30 p.m. Eastern start time. So thank you for uh, stopping in and becoming a member. I appreciate it, buddy. All right, I don't know if this is going to work, chat. See what happens. I like that beat-up old manure trailer. I love it. It's got that old-school vibe to it. Just a piece of junk <laughs> covered in rust. All right, hopefully this works. <clears throat> And if it doesn't, that's fine. Come on, baby. Yeah. 
It doesn't work. Man! Got all excited for nothing. Has to be in a regular trailer, of course. <sighs> but I can still use this. I can throw it on that uh, field that has 50% on it. I think. Yeah, I think I can apply it to this field that's covered in hoses. <laughs> yeah, this is all 50%. Let's get this moved over across to the other field. This is where we will uh, continue dropping slurry with the pump. All right, we'll just leave that there. Don't worry about the hoses. You can drive over the hoses. It won't hurt anything. We'll get some manure drop down here. And poop spreading time. Here we go. Ugh. That's a crappy mod. It doesn't even show the texture of it throwing it. <laughs> That's disappointing. So I should have tested it out before I used it, huh? Yeah, it doesn't even show it throwing it. That's poopy. Like, literally. <laughs> good night. Love the stream. Wish I could stay. Hoppy, have a good rest of your night. Sir. No problem. Have a good one, buddy. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Mm. All right, so this, this field will be 100% fertilized and ready for uh, planting. Because I'm a little more old school on this map, there I don't have, like, built-in uh, fertilizers on my planters and cedars. It's just straight seeds or planting. going to do a perimeter so we're not driving through the bushes over and over again. Now the reason you're not seeing anything come out right now is because this section is 100% covered. I think I accidentally put some liquid fertilizer on there. Down one row. <laughs> so it's not going to look fully covered in manure, but it will be 100% covered. Is the harvester full? I think the harvester's full. Let's take a time out. So now if we stand over this section, 
100% fertilized because we laid down our slurry from the pumps and hoses and then we laid down a layer of manure. So this section, 100%. And then this part, 50%. We're almost finished up with that. Let's uh, go pipe out the harvester. Almost done. They only got like one row to cut. got about I don't know 3,000 liters of sorghum out of this field when it's all said and done not bad for a little baby field Peep spreader what's up Rob that sure is a crappy trailer it is it's crappy all the way around weird this tractor shifts all its gears on its own but you have to manually shift in the eighth gear it won't go into eighth gear weird a lot of multitasking going on here what's up deep creek how the heck are you buddy just doing some farming on old family farm and thank you everybody for tuning in i do appreciate you being here hit that like button i think we're at 100 something i don't know the complete total but uh thank you for hitting the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't hit the bell there's a little bell on my channel that activates live notifications i recommend that if you enjoy what you see turn that bell on spaghetti noodles all over the field <laughs> how are you kind sir what's up tim mcdaniel 125 not too shabby what's up i hope you're feeling well today sir thanks for stopping in yeah we're on old family farm doing some old school farming but i'm gonna have to sell that spreader unfortunately i don't like i don't like the way it looks I like the way it looks. I don't like how it's not showing it shoot the uh, the you know what out. <laughs> it's not showing all my poo flinging. Five percent, baby. Come on, come on. I need enough to cover this last little strip. Three percent, two percent. Come on. Oh my goodness. We just ran out. Almost covered the whole thing. That's pretty good, though. So we'll get rid of this. Because it's a little broken, unfortunately. Alright, we'll pipe out the rest of this. Love the sounds it makes. Uh oh, what'd you have for dinner, Oregon? Do you have some dinner? Do you have anything good? We are 
empty. And that was the only field that needed uh, harvested tonight. So we're going to bring it on back to the gay roush. Up Jarvis. How the heck's Jarvis doing? I'm still a member, Frosty. I was signed into my music page. Jonathan, what's wrong with you, laddie? Rabid Rob coming in with the two months of membership, says I feel frosty. That's right, buddy. It's a little bit chilly here on Old Family Farm. It's the month of January, and it's snowing. A little chilly out. collection of uh, old school harvesters here. Boom, boom. A whole chicken, mashed potatoes, stuffing, corn, mostly the instant stuff, unfortunately. It doesn't matter. That sounds like a good good dinner right there that's a healthy man's dinner <laughs> sounds very good all right harvesting's done beautiful now we'll go uh get this knocked into the silo see you got the brewmaster game too how you liking it yeah stevie gifted me another game he's been gifting me too many games lately but yeah it's 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 fun it's a little you got to pay attention definitely got to pay attention to the tutorial or you'll be lost but it's fun yeah we're gonna do that on thursday i'm gonna stream it might be a, a train wreck of a stream but hey we'll still have fun trying to play it all right so that's all done So if we go over here, we got 5,120 liters of sorghum. That's all that we harvested. Small field, though. It is a baby field. Let's get this tractor out of the way so we can get working on this field. We're going to have to go activate the pump. So that'll give me a reason to drive over there. We're also going to need the tether and the wind rower. Got multitasking things going on here tonight. All right. But we're done with that for now. So here's uh, anybody tuning in. Here's our little uh, pumps and hoses set up. I went with all this. Um, I think pretty much the smallest stuff I could because it's a small farm. All right, let's get this activated. Start engine. Activate pump. As you can see, the hose is connected there. So even though there's not a visual, that is going to take digestate out of here through that pump and through these hoses which lead all the way eventually if we followed the whole hose it would lead all the way over here which gets connected to our sprayer sprayer slurry dropper whatever you want to call it and that tool's connected to this i'm using a cultivation setup so it cultivates and drops slurry at the same time 
right. Pump is already on, I believe, on the front end of the tractor. Hoses are all connected. So now all we got to do is drop this bye boy. Get her done. Get her done, Bobby. Like I said, it'll cultivate and fertilize at the same time. Before we started, I should have double checked. So this is 50% fertilized. This part of the field over here, 0% fertilized. So that's just proof that it is working. 50% right here. <clears throat> I get those beacons off. Tired of beacons for now. There you go, it just drags that hose around. Do you think this DLC is worth buying? I like it. It's weird. It's very different. I'm not, you know, it's different. But yeah, anything new to farm sim, I'm always excited to try it out. We'll try to do a perimeter here. <clears throat> Actually, going back and forth seems to be smarter. Make less of a mess with your hose. There you go. That hose just follows right behind while you're working. If for some reason you didn't have enough hose, it would disconnect because it'd, it'd get too tight. The hose would disconnect and then it wouldn't work. So you do want to make sure you have enough hose. I have more than enough too much but hey better better to have more and be safe than not enough right all right i missed a patch back her up a little bit pretty cool though very interesting DLC. I like it. Do you think you'll use it often? Uh, I'll use it on this map, single player. Yeah. I'll definitely be using it on here because it's free. It's free fertilizer for me. Because I've got pigs, cows. They all provide manure and slurry. So it's hard not to... Uh, take advantage of the free stuff, not having to buy liquid fertilizer. Oh crap, see, I messed up my system already. Hang it, Bobby. Messed up my darn system. If you go back and up and down, it, it gets the the hose not so messed around on your field. <clears throat> she does bog down quite a bit, though. I think I could use a little more power tractor-wise, but... At the time, I didn't have money for a big tractor, so we just bought a medium-sized one. Works good. You playing in the snow? I'm playing in the snow, Chris. cool though it's scary month we need scary streams <clears throat> well you can go watch someone else then 
Yeah, I don't do the scary games. I don't, I don't have fun playing them. So, yeah, you won't see that from me. We can make a we can make a hayride on. That, that's about as scary as it'll get for me. Well, we can uh, <clears throat> make a nice cornfield maze, and then there's like a wagon. We can even do it on the membership farm. That's what. Yeah, we'll do that. Because we do have wagons that everybody in the membership farm can sit in the wagon and go on a hayride. Ah, <laughs> oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah, that'll be fun. We'll do that for sure. Make a nice big maze. A corn maze for everybody to get lost in. A nice hayride. And if you wanted, you could even put a double application down. I just have one application. If you wanted to get fancy, you could do both. A lot of farms here in western New York use this setup. Memorizing to watch definitely takes some skill. Can wreck a lot of stuff quick if you're if not on your game. I imagine in real life, yeah. Probably rip up some hoses real quick if you uh not paying attention. I like how if you lift up but you feel like you're underneath the uh, mechanism here. Once you hit to lower, the mechanism automatically pushes itself back behind the cultivator. That's pretty cool. Lock that. One more swipe coming back. So here's an example. See how that's like in front of the cultivator? Now once I drop, that mechanism swings itself back around because it knows it needs to be behind it. It's pretty fancy. I think that's quite cool. That a nice. What's the thing on the front of the tractor? The thing on the front is the compressor. We're gonna need that, I'll show you why. Or no, that's the pump. My bad. Yeah, it's the pump. All right. We are done using this entire system here. So let's lift. Let's fold the cultivator. And now it's time to clean up our mess we made with all this stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Activate, let's see. Old tool carrier. So we got to detach this with our little hook. See, that's what I'm having trouble. It, it won't disconnect. I don't get that part. Toggle, blah, 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 super strength, switch hand tool. 
Yeah, it's like it won't let you disconnect. I don't, I don't understand that. Um, fold tool, lower tool application. Put in working position. Lower tool, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't understand how it won't let you disconnect it. Maybe we need to turn the pump off or the uh, compressor. Deactivate pump. Lift pump. Pip at tower still on. I turned it off and it still won't let me disconnect it. I, that's the only thing I'm having a little trouble with. Why won't it let me disconnect the hoses? I don't understand. Um, I can see this being a bad thing in the com Oh, well, this will not happen in the community farm. Sorry. <laughs> not happening. Uh, way off to topic, but I just got ATS and played it for an hour. Hopefully soon I can do some convoys. That'd be aw awesome, Adam. Uh, how do you like it so far? I remember the first time I played it. I was I was so excited. It, it's a lot. It is a fun game. Uh, if you've played it as much as I have, you get a little burned out. But I still get the itch to play it and still enjoy it occasionally. Yeah, I don't know how to disconnect this darn thing. Lower pump. We'll even disconnect the pump, like from the tractor completely. Let's see if that helps anything. When an umbilical hose wrench, you can connect hoses together. All right, I want to disconnect, you turd face. Shift, shift, something. Shift Q. Oh my gosh! All right, left shift Q. If anybody needs to know, uh, left shift Q. It's not showing up on my controls. Left shift Q to attach and un and disconnect. Left shift Q. All right, now we got that figured out. <laughs> we are going to. Shut that down. The pump, I'm just going to leave there. We'll use the Kubota to uh, clean up everything. I like it, just gotta get the mods and all that stuff. I'm just using the PC for steering, but wanna connect my controller to it, so turning is easier. Definitely. Yeah, controller is super easy. Pretty much plug in and play, I think, from what I remember. It's been a while since I used controller, but I do remember it working just fine. All right, we're gonna run over to the end that needs disconnected so we can use this to start scooping it up, cleaning up our mess. Now that we know how to connect, disconnect this. Shift Q. We disconnected right here. Beautiful. Now I can fold this up. Get this off the uh, property. Uh, 
Park this right over here. Not gonna clear that. Yeah, just fits. Has our animals died yet? Yeah, they croaked and choked and died. I sold them all. <laughs> What's up, Coop? How you doing there, buddy? I always used a wireless Xbox controller. Yeah, back before I had a wheel, I played ATS. Well, no, not ATS. Euro Truck. Because I got a wheel eventually. Because I got tired of controller. Yeah, once I went wheel, whoo, baby, it's much, much more fun, but even controller is a good, is a fun time. All right, that's all closed up. All right, now it's the collection process, but we're going to find the connection where the yellow and orange is that I did. Get out our little tool here. Disconnect that. All right, now it's just uh, roll it all up. Roll it all up like a taco. We'll start with orange and then yellow on the top rack. So what she want to do here? Back rod right up, right about there. Connect that bad boy, and we want to start winding, which is Z, and then Y. And as you can see, it'll start winding. You can drive while it's winding. You don't have to worry about that. But it automatically starts rolling all the hose. Very cool. So I'm pretty much just going to let it wind up over here. Because we'll have to switch to the top roll to uh, roll up the yellow. Just kind of let it do its thing. And that's the cleanup process. There is one other step that I skipped, but we didn't need to do it. And that's clean the hoses out. You can clean the hoses out with a uh, pump and water. But it said there was 0% clogging, so it must be fresh and clean. So we didn't have to do that step. We skipped right past it. Just sit here and wait. This might take a minute. There's a lot of cord out there. Is there a way to speed it up? Put it on, like, nitro speed? <laughs> might take a minute. Uh, I'm eating veggie soup. Just finished doing food truck sim. Wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. They did an update on that chat. Doesn't take as long. Or it's, you don't have to be in such a hurry now. They added a little more time to finishing orders on the food truck sim. So I might have to give it another shot. It was like impossible to stream. I couldn't talk to anybody. I had to pretty much ignore the chat because there was like zero time to get the darn orders done. But uh, since they did that little update, maybe it's not too bad now. That was a couple. That was like a week or two ago. What is that? Says Kellen and Loisius BN. This is the pumps and hoses DLC. So it's like having a BGA factory on your own farm. And uh, I don't know if I showed you guys that. Well, Kellen, you must just be getting in here. Anybody else that's just stopping in. You got to pretty much set up your own BGA on your farm. It's part of the Pumps and Hoses DLC. 
So if I go into construction mode, there's there's all the pieces you need to make it all happen. Uh, you got to have a fermenter and a aginator. I don't, I don't even know how you say that. A gas torch that burns excess uh, methane. And then in this bin is where you can dump, just like you would at a BGA, you can dump your uh, silage in there. Over here, you can dump straight up manure, silage, and uh, sh sugar beet cut, I believe. And it will burn down that into uh, digestate over here, which you can then hook up to a compressor, hook up all your hoses, and go to town on fertilizing your entire farm with the pumps and hoses. Very nice. Very interesting. It was a head scratcher getting it all set up, but after I watched a video, it, it sort of helped. I still struggled tonight. But actually, it wasn't too bad. And there's the last piece. We just got back to watch the last piece get rolled up. All right, so now we're going to switch to uh, scoop up all the yellow cord, or hose, I mean. Same thing. Back up. Shift Q. Uh, I gotta double check here. Start winding Y. There you go. Same thing. Gonna wrap up all the yellow now. And since it won't hurt anything, we can bring this all the way back down to the house. Let that roll up right there. Lights off, beacons off. And there you go. It's rolling like crazy. <laughs> you sure are fancy, Frosty. Pretty cool setup. Isn't that fancy, Kellen? Way better than cooking sim, says Coopstream. Oh, the uh, food truck one. I never liked cooking sim. I liked the pizza DLC, but I never cared for the game itself, cooking sim. Can you drive around while reeling it? Yes, you can, Bill. When I first got ATS and Farm Sim 19, all I had was the keys. That lasted maybe three days before I went and picked up a controller. Oh, keyboard, you mean. Keyboard. Uh, what's up, Luis Alvarez? Hello? You have ATS too, man. Nice. I'm hoping after Christmas I can get a wheel to make the experience even more real. Um, wow. That picked up a lot quicker than the orange one did. I think that's because there's less. Right. Just like that. We've cleaned up our whole operation and won't need to do any of that until more fields get harvested, which most of them are growing right now, so nothing to worry. It'll be a while before we have to get everything set up again. We will drop this right here for next time. Let's connect. And there you go. This thing right here is pretty cool. That is the uh, little water pump. Which on one of these, you can haul it. And like, unf I think that there's a bigger one that can hold that thing in the back like a little trailer or something. Thank you. You refunded it? I don't blame you. The only reason I kept it was because of the pizza DLC. And I don't even like playing that anymore. <laughs> I got kind of burned out on the pizza. Got that all cleaned up. It's time to go finish what we started. We cut all that grass up at the dairy farm. <coughs> Excuse me. Now 
Now it's time to uh, head up there with a wind rower and a tether. <clears throat> Park this right here. It picked up what hose was left over after you cultivated the rest of it. That's right. That's right, Johnny. All right, we'll have follow me. Con haven't used it in a while. Control F. I think I did it right. I don't know. Follow, choose other two, huh? <laughs> I think I got it set up. No. I got to get away from all these other tractors, I think. There we go. Heck, man. Control F. Control F. Control F. Follow, choose other two. What are you talking about? I just want to follow this guy right here. I guess it doesn't like it when you're around too much equipment. I just don't want to make two trips. <laughs> I've used this a million times. It always works. Why is it not working now? Come on. It shows a guy in the first tractor, which makes zero sense. I don't know what's going on. Right alt for yeah I've, I've been hitting it I've used this a million times do you have to be in the front of the tractor I've, I've done it a million times all you do is park right here this is how I've always done it it always works but tonight it's not working you just get in and control F that's all you usually have to do Let's see if she follows me So, that must be broken. Something's not working like it should. Usually all you got to do is get right behind the tractor you want to follow. You get in it, you hit control F, and the worker gets in there, and you get back in your tractor, and it follows you all the way there. But this is not working. I don't think so. Uh, don't waste your money on car dealer simulator. Car Dealer Simulator. Isn't that an old game? I think I have it. 
It's the old one you're talking about. Yeah, that game is trash. Unless there's another new one. That's that Paz. Pez streaming. We already cut the grass, Pez. Now we have to uh, tether it and windrow it. Go make some hay bales. And look, it even shows the, the driver active. I don't know what's wrong with it. Following active. Just don't know. Fancy little tractor here. Now, I don't think I'd be playing it if I gave it away there, Kevin, but thank you for the $5 super chat. I don't know if anybody claimed it. I didn't, I didn't even check. I just put up the code. I'm sure somebody claimed it. Uh, Ransom will be having farming next Monday, month. Will there be a rancher named Frost? I've already I already played a little bit yesterday. Uh, getting re I'm trying to level up to get the the uh, gardens, the greenhouses going, but I'm nowhere near that. I pretty much did a fresh restart, but I'm I'm building the mansion, the biggest house. It's like a big old log cabin, and I build the big chicken coop and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm excited for a little ranch, Sam. All right, we made it back here. Now I got to do a little bit of tether tether. All right. Good evening, arbitrary hubris. Just checking to make sure you did it. I cut, see, this is what I did, Pez. I cut this whole field here, isn't it pretty? Now I just got to tether everything. Yes, sir, Bobby. Excuse me. Veteran in the snow. How have you been doing, Pez? Haven't seen you in a while. I know. I was just wondering. I, I check Twitch all the time to see which friends of mine are have been live and. Last time I checked Pez's channel, it said like 18 days ago. <clears throat> Must be working a lot. Which is a good thing. I don't blame you. Can you tell it to... Can you tell it go to the job you want it to go to? I don't I don't know if that'll work on this map. I could try. I've been exhausted. If you need any help on the the ranch grind off stream, you know how much I love ranch sim. I know you love it. You and that silly Raya. Yeah, right now I'm in the chopping trees down and hunting, trying to make money. But even after playing it for as long as I did last night, which was only about an hour, I was very happy when I turned it off. Like. <laughs> Um, I'm just being honest. It felt good to turn it off after one hour. I was like, yeah, that's enough of that for now. I 
Had to DM Pez to make sure he wasn't in jail or something. He's a busy boy. I think he's just working a lot. I already, I, I see, I got a new system down now. Sundays is always going to be my prep night for the week. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to have my whole schedule up around Sunday night or sometime Sunday and work on all my stuff, get the schedule out for the week, Monday through Thursday. That way you got, all of you will have a heads up on what I'm going to be streaming and it just feels good for me to get it all figured out and organized for the week so I can focus on other things. Yeah. So that's the new the new thing. It takes me about... Hmm. I don't know. It took me a good three hours to set everything up. Mostly the membership farm. Fast-forwarding time, making a list, set, getting it all ready. That's probably where the most time was put in. And making all my thumbnails and getting all my games ready for whatever I'm going to do. Uh, tomorrow we're doing Tank Mechanic Simulator, so tune in about 7.30 p.m. Eastern for that. If you think you'll enjoy watching it. That'll be about 7.30 p.m. Uh, we've added two things to our museum. I hope to add at least another two things to it tomorrow night. Pretty cool how you have your own museum that brings in revenue. I'm going to swing around and get that piece because we can get both rows going back here. I wonder why my darn follow me is not working. Frustrating. We all know how this working hard crap is. Been an adult, it will be great, they said. Yeah. That's what I tell my kids. I was like, do not wish to grow up. Just enjoy being a kid, dang it. Enjoy being a kid. Because it only lasts for a while. <laughs> then it's on to the real world. All right, one little patch here, and that is it for tethering. Then we're going to win row real quick with the Vermeer Rola. Sado out of the way. Up there. Alright. Did you check the list twice, says Duan. Nope, I just did made it and sent it. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a hay bale Christmas. Ooh. I'm dreaming of a hay bale Christmas. Yeah. Just putting all these DLCs to work tonight. This is the Vermeer pack part of the Vermeer pack. We already used the pumps and hoses tonight. Maybe nice. See? I'm using everything I invested in. I still get a bit jealous that kids get summers off. Oh, I know. Why? You should have been a teacher. Teachers get summers off, too. <laughs> and shrimp fishermen. They get a long season off, but they work like maniacs when it's working time. And I'm sure some of them do other things, fishing-wise, other than shrimp. <clears throat> and don't become just a streamer. You'll never get a girlfriend. It's got to go out more. Got to get out of the house. Yep. I agree. If I wouldn't have found my wife before I became a streamer, I'd probably be struggling myself. All right, 
Let's see here. I think we could go back and forth now. How many bales do you think this will make, chat? Be nice to get 10 out of it, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think we'll get that much. You would still be out driving trucks? <sighs> no, I only did that because I had a family to take care of. <laughs> Who knows what I'd be doing if I didn't have a family, you know? I bet a, I bet, I bet a bunch of us think that, like... What would I be doing if I didn't have all this responsibility? Like, where would my life had gone? You just never know. Once you uh, have someone you take care of, especially when you add kids to the mix, yeah, things change for sure, real quick. Yeah, I just took my son to see it, Bill. Took my uh, my son and I went to see the new Top Gun on Friday last week. Or no, no, not Friday because that was Hurricane Day. Even though it didn't hit me at all, but everything was closed in my area. Um, Thursday, we went to see it Thursday. I liked it. I thought it was awesome. Good movie. Quite enjoyed it. Get over more. I'm making more work for myself. Get over more, Frosty. Get over there. Right now. One more swipe here. I'm gonna get that stinking follow me mode working because that's ridiculous. I've used that so many times in the past, never had an issue with it. I don't know what's going on. Did Duane and Stearman turn my comments off again so Frosty can't see them, those jackwhackers? That's the first comment I've seen by it, to be honest. What's up, Isaiah? That's the first one I've seen. <clears throat> My head's getting smaller. I almost shaved it off today. My wife's like, no. Like, Ugh! I don't see how she likes it. I don't, I don't like myself barefaced either. But I'm kind of getting tired of the old beard. But she made a good point. Weather's getting cooler. Winter's right around the corner. I should probably leave it. Oh, right, let's get this crap figured out. Now, usually, all I should have to do is hit, like I said, Control F. Like that. And it worked. Now it worked. See, there's a guy in there. Now he's gonna follow me back where I gotta go. Why did it work this time, but it didn't work earlier? Watch, it should start following me. 
There he goes. Yeah. There he, yep, he's right up on me. There we go. I don't know why it didn't work earlier, but whatever. I'm letting my beard grow, says Nick DeBar. Are you? No, I see. How many people in the chat grow beards for winter? Gotta rock that beard, especially in the winter. That's right. What month are you in? January. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. It's the month of January in the game. Coming up on the auction. See if my guy makes it over the bridge here. It's a steep grade. Big old bump. Beautiful. No problems there. Very nice. That's how follow me is supposed to work. I kept my beard through the summer, so I'm definitely keeping it for winter. I can't grow one, so not me, says Chris. <laughs> I grow a beard all year round, but I don't trim it anymore when August gets here. He's like, oh, don't trim it. Don't need to. Hmm. And then you just cancel. And there you go. Look at that. Two stones killed at once. Two stones killed at once. Two birds killed with one stone is what I was trying to say. Uh, Stevenson, you little sweet tart. Thank you very much for the 449. Says we'll let you shave the beard once you get under 50 FPM landing DAL 1201. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not getting lower. Last night felt pretty good, man. When I had that ILS approach, I was coming in. I came in early enough. Uh, everything was perfect. It was really good. I thought, man, this is going to be... And I did it at nighttime. That was a nighttime landing. So it was pitch black dark. I couldn't really... You know, all you can see is the runway lights. But yeah, it's pretty exciting. I need a new uh, dump. I need a manure trailer spreader. Manure spreader trailer thingy. Not really. Do I need it? No, I don't. No, I don't need that. I know what I'll do. Nah, I kind of need it. I kind of want a dumper. Let's buy one real quick. We got a little... We got $53,000 in the bank. Might as well. Uh, manure spreader. Let's see what kind of modded ones we got. That one was garbage. It looks cool, but it didn't really work good. And right, we got that. We got that. That only holds 35 to 82. What did that hold? 12,000. I'd like to have around that much. <coughs> Ooh. I don't like those oh, 65,000. Get out of here with that, mate. That's too much money. Holy stuff. Junk butt. I might have to go with the $5,200 one here. Nice and cheap. Newer spreader. Yellow grid, body color grid. We'll go yellow and then main color we'll do... I don't know. Oh, of course you're not going to give me yellow. You turd face. Uh, we'll just go gray. All right, so we're going to run this up. <laughs> Think so little. That is a tiny spreader right there. 
I have that conversation with my kids daily. Now you need it or do you just want it? Exactly. All right, we're going to take a little uh, skip across the map real quick. Arbitrary Hubris, thank you very much for becoming a Jack Whacker level one. Thank you very much. That's Arbitrary Hubris. Thank you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you. What am I doing? I'm trying to remember where I parked that son of a gun. Feel like it's over here somewhere. Oh, left my beacon on. Um, I know it's ah, it's in here. There she is. There's our Vermeer automated bailer. All right, let's get this bad boy over behind the John Deere, and we'll use Follow Me mod again. There we go. Just trying to remember where I parked it. What's up, Rhett? I haven't seen you in the chat, Rhett. Have, how long you been here? Or did you just get here? There he is. Good evening, Frosty. You've been watching on TV. Just got power back like 20 minutes ago. Big dust storm and rain knocked out power in the area. Really? A little storm going on, huh? Well, welcome, welcome, sir. Yeah, maybe. You might be right there. Um, yeah, that might be why. that or I was around too much equipment earlier and it didn't know which tractor to pick. Something weird was going on. Let's see if it works this time. Yep. Worked fine. We got Lucille. Lucille's going to help us out. She's got her knickerbockers on, ready to go. I think I bought too small of a poop spreader. Thing's pretty tiny. Making sure she makes it across the bridge there. <laughs> all right, she's she's on her way. Oh, she's having some troubles, but all right, she's behind us. Good thing. Good thing. All right. I can only wish we had any type of rain out here. Oh, I just got a ton of rain last week, all in one day too. Just a crap load of it. It's snow. You don't see the snowflakes. It's not cotton. Running low on water. Have to switch to the big jug. Nice. Good job. Fill that up with some poo, and it's already full. <laughs> oh, that thing only holds 3,500 liters. That's horrible. All right, cool. Friend, brother, 
That would be a perfect fit for that open cab tractor. What do you say? You want the extra high side, manure brown. <clears throat> Frosty, have you seen the map Black River? I have not. Never heard of it. Is that a new map or something? I know I'm kind of jumping around here, but I gotta—I forgot I had to uh, feed the dairy cows. We got about 9,800 liters of TMR in here, so we're just gonna feed them real quick. go happy cows and they just emptied that entire mixer boom right fairly new I think it's a map you would enjoy kind of done making a ton of maps to be honest like setting up new maps it's just too much work <laughs> too much time and uh, now that I'm working another job on the side I just don't have the uh, that extra time to create a whole nother map so that cow needs a milking you think so park this bad boy up and hop into the uh, baler Love that tractor, by the way. 7800 series. Mm. Got the rock box on the front. Love that thing. All right. This is not fermented. 66%. I still got a little ways to go. All right. We're going to make us some high bales. Let's get her done, baby. Lowered. Activated. Turning underneath. Looking good. And off we go. Someone said six bales. Let's see what happens. I'm going to say... Oh, I don't have automatic drop on, I guess. There we go. Here's bale number one. Uh, heck. Looking at this field, and that was almost full, by the way. I'm thinking, yeah, I think we'll only get about five or six max. Five or six max. Uh, Kevin Flores also coming in with the gifted sub. Thank you very much, sir. Looks like Philip Dean is on the receiving end of the gifted membership. Thank you, Mr. Flores. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate you, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, my son and I loved the uh, Top Gun. It was very good, very good. Then I made him watch the original the night after, and He's like, do I have to watch the whole thing? <laughs> he didn't care for it like he did the new one. Which I kind of figured. This generation doesn't quite uh, enjoy our movies we grew up with. Didn't have all that fancy CGI crap or whatever it is. There are good movies without all the 
extras, you know? You can still watch a good movie without the extra stuff. Love how this thing just whips a Yui like that. There we go. So we're up to two bales. Bale number three. Love this little machine. So my music decided to turn off on me again. Hang up, Bobby. see with these bright lights on. Trying to get every little, every little crumb. Every little crumb of hay. Trying to make Isaiah sick. Where the heck's that? Why won't it pick up that little piece right there? There we go. Ace. <laughs> Gotta be like perfectly straight or it won't pick it up. Uh, fi uh, thank you again, Kevin, for that gifted membership. Thank you, buddy. I'm trying to make you dizzy, Rat. Facebook must have fixed all the notifications. I'm finally getting all my live notifications again for everyone I follow. Well, there you go. It's exciting, huh? It'll work for maybe a day or two. What do we got? One? Oh, crap. We only got three bales, chat. I might have been uh, miscalculated here. Four. I gotta get my music on, I'm sorry. Driving me nuts. I do not like silence. Just don't lock it. There we go. <clears throat> bam, 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 bam. I do like the cool weather though. <clears throat> Went on two walks today. I almost get more motivated to walk when it's cool, cold, like cooler out. Or I'm not sweating my butt up. Getting swamp butt, you know? Nobody likes that. Okay. 
Can we get one more bale? I don't think so. That was a horrible swath. Yeah, I think that's it. Try to clean up the loose patches here. <clears throat> There's a little patch up ahead. done there. We got our fresh bales made. How many did we get? One, two, three, four, five. Eh, so we got five bales. That's still not bad. Looks nice too. Nice and fresh. Good stuff. No one likes it. I don't even know if this is going to fit on there. Yeah, this might be a bad idea. Only one way to find out. <laughs> nope, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Too wide. Ah, that was a good try, though, huh? It's a good try. <laughs> Can't say I didn't give it a shot. Visit the piggies real quick. See what they're up to. Got a little manure processed. And they're doing all right on food. Health is at 100%. So that means the, the quality of, I mean, what they're worth is going to go up. Let's check out my animal menu here. All right, so open range cattle. We're looking at pigs, pigs, pigs. They got a bunch of slurry coming in. They got a decent amount of food. A little more would be nice, but yeah. They are worth 604 bucks a head. Not bad, and we got 108 of them. So they are starting to mature. Straw bedding's decent. We got enough for now. Got a little bit of manure, a little bit of slurry. Very nice. Uh, you're still live and 8.30 in Idaho. It's late. Get to bed. Yeah, I'm about to shut her down, actually. Yeah, we're almost done here tonight. Uh, Kevin Flores coming in with a $10 super chat says, Frost, do you strictly Uber at the airport? No, I haven't done the airport yet. That's what my main focus was going to be, but I'll be honest. Uh, the, the rides just keep coming in, so I've just been doing any ride anywhere. But uh, I did 21 rides on Saturday night, which is quite a bit for one night. Nine and a half hours, uh, 285 miles. 
So yeah, I was I was busy. But I've just been sticking to that. I haven't even been to the airport yet. <clears throat> what was your longest drive? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was maybe 20 miles. I don't know. Mostly small trips back and forth to uh, downtown and stuff. Uh, did you make more driving than streaming? Yes, a lot more. Uh, what time did you go to bed on Sunday? I got home. I left at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Saturday night and got home at about 5.30 p.m. Eastern. 5.30 in the morning on Sunday. Yeah, I did almost 10 hours. Thank you very much, Kevin. I appreciate that, buddy. Good night, Frank Barton. Have a good one. Have a splendid one. Park this up for today. This door doesn't close on this barn, though. Kind of sad. I'd like to close it. But it wanted to let me. Uh, how long did it take for you to pass the background checks? A little bit. It took a couple weeks. It took longer than normal. But, uh... Eventually, they passed it, yeah. Found out I'm not a criminal. All right, so <laughs> we're 50% fertilized here. And we got this field done tonight as well. So if we go look at my actual field information, scroll down here. There's my crop types, things that are growing. Here's my growth. This is uh, all growing. These are almost ready to harvest. These are seed beds, which means they're ready to plant. Everything is fully fertilized except that field there that we use the pumps and hoses on. We, we need to put one more application of something. I could probably muster up some more uh, manure if I had to. Lime. That field I didn't lime. I plowed it but forgot to lime it. That was my fault. Ah, it's looking quite lovely, eh? So shabby. So shabby indeed. Those fields are ready for planting. We'll probably wait till winter's over before I start planting stuff. I heard that super picky about the drivers and what type of cars they have. I've, I'm proud to say I'm almost at 100 uh, rides. I've given 100 rides. Five star. I haven't had... Nobody's rated me lower than that. Five's the best. So, so far, 100%. On my uh, rating, anyway, which is pretty nice. I even had a guy, he looked at my my profile when I was taking him to his destination. He's like, how do you have 100%? He's like, I've never seen 100%. I was like, I don't know. I'm just a lucky guy, I guess. But yeah, once once someone rates me lower than that, I'm going to be sad because it's at 100% right now. All right, chat, I am done. Let's get into uh, flight mode here. Take a little overlook of the farm so you can see what all we did tonight. So pretty much we harvested a sorghum field. We did pumps and hoses on this field and this field afterwards, cultivated and fertilized. Uh, pretty much fed all the animals that needed fed. Took care of the Angus cows over here, watered and gave them hay bales to eat. We got the greenhouses topped off. We sold a couple pallets of tomatoes. Nothing too crazy tonight. It's nice relaxing farming on old family farm. There's our pumps and hoses BGA we put together. And that is pretty much all we did. We go up here. See the big field we cut grass on. Made some hay bales. We'll get those picked up next time. And those will be used to mix with wrapped bales, which are sitting right here, to make TMR. To feed all dairy cows. 
there you go. That's going to do it for me, chat. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We will be back tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern with Tank Mechanic Simulator, so make sure you tune in for that if you would like. If not, totally understandable. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Hit that little bell. That'll give you live notifications. If you haven't been getting them, make sure you hit that bell to turn them on. Okay? All right, guys. Have a great one. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you, Kevin Flores, for all the... Uh, super chats and gifted memberships thank you arbitrary hubris for becoming a member uh stevenson with the super chat uh we had donald carter becoming a member who else did we have nick debar and a ton of super chats from uh kevin flores thank you again buddy alex whitcomb becoming a brand new member we had bradley patterson dylan stringer also with the super chats thank you so much guys thank you for the support to the channel all right thank you guys i will catch you on the next one it's big rig frosty gaming i'm over and i'm out of here catch you next time peace out